Oh, my little mini lads. More allegations again, which doubt the truths you speak. First, ladies and gentlemen, a little story for you all. <clears throat> there was once a bird called Cheryl. And he once came to a man who liked to film videos. And the little birdie told the little man, Big Man. And the little birdie said, Once again, Craig has been trying to show people his bloody mini lad. But. You told us you never tried to meet up with anyone. You told us there were only one or two girls that you had relations with, but oh boy, were we wrong. But yes, you are indeed watching the Curtis Price channel. Grab a snack and a beverage and uh, grab a croissant if you're from France. <laughs> that was, um, that was terrible. Shut up. But yes, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the finale of Mini Lads Lies and Deception. Roll the intro. Oh, wonderful people of the Curtis Price channel. If you are unaware, I have already made two videos on this man. And I have noticed I make a lot of videos on the same people. And that's because I like to make three to four parts usually. And uh, it's also because it makes me lots of money as well. However, I think before we dive into the caramel crap of today's video, I think we should definitely focus on the context and character building. Because without context, there is no understanding. So ladies and gentlemen, let's begin. Class is in session. Hey, you over there. Sit down! So, Mr. Mini Lad, time for some character building, I suppose. Now, this man does in fact cater to the teenage audience, and he used to be associated with the Vanos crew who uploads funny moments on video games. Now, Mini Lad decided to use his young audience for a specific benefit manipulation, sexual interactions, guilt tripping, and romance. Romance with kids? Ew! <laughs> really unnecessary. I'm thinking maybe there just wasn't enough sex in Mini Lad's life, so he diverted himself to prebubescent children as a last resort. And God help me, but I'm sure you're everyone's favourite. But I think the best thing to do is just to look at an example of this, and uh, this is uh... This really doesn't really do anything for me, does it? It's my eyes I need covering, not my nose. Can't smell paedophilia. Or can you? I want you to say how big he is. I have a kink for people saying how big my penis is, lol. Like, if you were to compliment how big my dick is, I would get so hard so fast. It wouldn't take me that long to come at all, lol. Wow. Talk about over-explaining yourself. Um, I think we got it in the first message, Craig, you tit. I like that insult. It's my new favourite one. You should get merged with just tit on it. It's actually a good idea. You said when you were drunk you'd send me a little something. I didn't even mean for that message to be such a mess, OMG. But I'm nervous. As you can tell, I can read that because I've been drunk many times in my life. No, I haven't. Do it. I believe in you. For me. All right, listen, I'm so comfy in bed. I don't want to get up. It's been weeks. I sad. And if you think that's bad enough, well, wait until you read this bit. I'm poking you with a metaphorical stick. <laughs> metaphorical stick. I'm assuming he's referring to his penis. Um, but one could disagree. <laughs> And this was another person that he was pressuring to send pictures. These are two different people, as far as I'm aware. And he was pressuring both of them to send pictures. Thumbs up, Craig. You're a good guy. I, I like you, you know? I... Also, what the fuck? Who sends a message like that with a smiley face following it? I'm poking you right now. With my metaphorical stick. Uh, have you uh, ever seen uh, a willy as big as mine before? I bet you haven't. Oh, I'm Craig Thompson, aka Mini Lads, and I have a big will here. <laughs> nice, Craig. Nice. So now we understand a certain amount, such as he pressures underage girls to send him inappropriate pictures, and God knows who else for that matter. He also likes to be complimented about his penis. What guy doesn't? But when you insist on being complimented, and you class being complimented as a kink, that's also known as insecure. <laughs> he also attempted to fly a girl out to him, but failed due to her being on vacation with her family. Teenagers doing what teenagers do. Thought you'd have caught on by now, Mini Man. But, ladies and gentlemen, there was another girl involved with Mini Lad named Harley, who actually made an expose video on Craig. And beforehand, he told her that if an expose video was released, 
they would be putting his life in danger and potentially killing millions of fans. Yeah, I'm sure if my idol was out there as a paedophile, the first thing I'd want to do is kill myself. This is known as manipulation and guilt tripping, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you how. So you're taking your accountability and responsibility as a creator, knowing you are a paedophile, and handing it to one of the victims, meanwhile also handing her the lives of millions of fans. But real quick, because we are speeding through this, I'm attempting to anyway, haha, <laughs> kill me. He did release an apology, P.S. It was dog shit. I, I took his apology and... <laughs> As you can see, I am a real man's man. But he did claim in his apology that he would be better. And this was his idea of being better. I actually want to discuss something that Craig said. And if we're going off his apology, he didn't fucking say much. But if he did say anything that would lack common sense, it was in fact this. Once people realise that the majority don't care, don't know, and brands keep working with me, it'll die faster. Seemed to me that the only thing many lads cared about is his own well-being. And brands will keep working with you. Well... That didn't turn out the way you hoped it did. Well, I had to talk about context because I find it really funny of um, Craig's response, to be honest. It's horrible and funny. You know, it's not often I get to laugh at a man who's obsessed with his penis. <laughs> hey, I guess we have something in common, Craig. The fact that we have nothing in common. <laughs> I'm not really the type of guy to photocopy my penis and put it on the wall, to be honest. <laughs> what? But now, ladies and gentlemen, Let's talk about what happened now. So in 2016, there was actually a girl called Sarah, and believe it or not, she was 14, and Minilad met up with her. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? What the fuck? But it's nice to know, since you apparently, you know, never met up with an underage girl before, as you said yourself. <laughs> not exactly the sharper shed in the two, Leo. Yeah, that's exactly what I meant to say, you ignorant shit. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Been having you know, some issues with myself recently, and we've just been in a bit of a fight. And yeah. however, we might be asking, how can we prove that Mini Lad met up with this 14-year-old girl? <laughs> well, I'll tell you. Take a look at this image. These images were indeed with the 14-year-old girl Sarah, and as you can see, that's Mini Lad with his Mini Lads showing his Mini Lad. I saw her on Twitter, and um, he was, he was in. It was in uh, one of the trending tweets of many lads and stole it. Sorry. And it is a shame, to be honest, that Mini Lad had to do this because I used to like Mini Lad. I thought he was a nice guy, but then he wanted to show people his penis and everything changed. It's not to say that he has some sort of attraction to these girls. Maybe he just made a mistake. That's no, he's he's attracted to them definitely. But at least get help about it. Don't pursue your fantasies. I feel sick just saying that. <laughs> oh, that's insane! Perhaps these will make me feel better. It seems like this with Minilad has been going on for years, and he's never really attempted to reach out to everyone and be like, look, I've done this, I'm sorry, everyone. I don't know what to say. Um, however, ladies and gentlemen, these are some inappropriate texts that Minilad had uh, with um, Sarah, the 14-year-old girl. <laughs> this is exciting. And also very disgusting. If you're enjoying this right now, you're sick. <laughs> yeah, I understand. That is cool. It's great. Don't worry about it. I understand that. And oh, that's sad. Well, I hope you find someone worth it. Someday I'll find someone. I know you will too. I want that D. I can tell you're talking to a teenager. Why don't you back out now, Craig, for fuck's sake. No holding back anymore, haha. <laughs> Our age gap is far too big, Sarah. It's too big anyway, sad face. Now, even before we say anything quickly, he did refuse her. And you know there's a joke coming up, you just know it. But even though he refused her, it doesn't mean it's okay. You still met up with a girl. I'm not 100% confident, but I, I'm slightly confident you've had some sexually charged conversations with this girl, at least, because you have with the others. You're talking about some relationship you could have had and how you don't want it anymore. So I'm assuming you, you probably did have some sort of... Whatever that is, I'm... And, uh... <laughs> Here we go. It's too big anyways. Is he referring to his mini lad? Again, for a man called mini lad, he sure does talk about his maxed size penis. <laughs> I'm so funny. I'm not sure I want to talk about his beef bus anymore in this video, but uh, you know, rejecting while flexing. Now that's brutal. Hey, listen, I'm sorry, but I can't be with you anymore. 
it's not you, it's me. And I know I have, like, sick hair. And plus I have a foot-long meat sub between my legs. But I just hope you find someone better. Because it's not you. It's me. <laughs> Would be very funny if he wasn't talking to a miner. But more DMs of mini lads complimenting a miner's breasts. That felt wrong to say and I, I haven't done anything. <laughs> okay, I'm back on track now. They're not even that big in my eyes though. Like even the snaps you sent earlier when you were bored. What one? They show their size. Oh, fair enough. But like I said, in my eyes, they're actually not that big. Take a picture of you side on and compare. It's a celebs with big boobs. Mini lad telling a 14 year old girl her boobs are big. You could maybe compliment, compliment something else. else. Or maybe, maybe nothing, nothing at all, all would be better. better. But it's interesting mini lad because you apparently, according to you, received a picture of boobs from Miner. Hmm? However, you make the bed you lie in. Own up to your mistakes. The career is not there to protect. You made the mistake you have to deal with the ramifications of that. I'm wrong, everyone. I admit, I done mistakes. This is me, I'm gonna be better. But we'll talk more about that later on. But before all that, ladies and gentlemen, I wanna say something real quick to all of you. I wanna say, subscribe to the channel, leave a like and comment for the algorithm because you all know I love those comments as soon as the video goes up. I always leave a like on them and I always reply as well. I try to. But you know we want to hit 100k on this channel very very soon and sign up to the channel memberships because you get one day, one day, what the, what? You get one video one day early before everyone else and that is a real, real advantage. But if you do sign up to the membership, if you uh, go on Instagram, you can follow my pet hamster right now, his name's Glenn. Here's his Instagram account. Send me a screenshot of you being signed up and uh, he'll accept you onto his account and you can see all the lovely photos that me and my girlfriend take. <laughs> yeah, she makes me do them. She's holding me hostage. Help me. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be taking a trip and talking about this with a, one of our favorite people. And that man is the Arcane of Sin. So, welcome to the memorial of Mini Lad. How in the fuck are you about to say the way that we do it is not the way So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the memorial of Mini Lads. My name is the Arcane of Sin, and this is where we dissect the end of someone's career. Before we begin, I imagine a lot of you new viewers watching right now are suspecting some sort of BDSM ritual, and I can promise you <laughs> that will not happen here. And I am aware I need to get a microphone inside of this mask. I'm also aware I can't see. So I will now perform the rest of this video with my eyes closed. But oh my little boy, sweet mini lad, what have you done now? Or better yet, what has happened to you? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you right now that platforms have indeed taken action against our little boy mini lads. And what platforms, you might be asking? Well, let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, Twitch has indeed removed mini lad due to his paedophilia. <laughs> That was cringe. But now Mini Lad can no longer stream on Twitch. His account has been removed. I guess you could say you fell a little short, Mini Lad. <laughs> oh yes, I'm on fire today. It's good to see platforms taking action against paedophiles. Because back in about 2010, no one would have taken action. They would have let the paedophiles carry on. But now... <sighs> but now, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, Twitch has taken action against mini lads. Goodbye to the little mini streams you offered. That's it. Guess you shouldn't have been the paedophile. None of this would have happened. Mm -hmm. However, where is mini lad? We haven't seen him at all in the last few months and that's, well, for obvious reasons. But where is he? Where could he be? Well, no other than Mr. Hollywood Fix actually ran into mini lad on the street while he was going for a midnight jog. <laughs> I hope that's what it was anyway. I hope, you know, you weren't going somewhere that's wrong. Do you understand? I'm doing good. How you doing tonight? Pretty good, pretty good. What have you been up to? What are you working on? Uh, just working on myself more than anything else, man. It's, uh, 
It's been a weird few months, but okay. I'm, I'm trying to be happy, trying to be healthy, and uh, okay. I saw a thing you po you posted that you like moved away or something, but you yeah, no, I, I moved to Dallas. I only got here today, you know. I've had nice. my I've had no power for the last week in my apartment building, so oh. uh, me and my manager came out here. The power is finally back on the thing, so that's good. That's it's good. Been wild. Are you doing any more new uh, Minecraft stuff? Um, not as of right now. I'm just. I'm honestly just kind of taking it easy. Like I'm just taking it up on myself to uh -huh. to work on me and try and better myself. And okay. I'll come back to YouTube whenever the time is right. Going for a late night jog. I see you missing any lads. Getting your exercise up. I completely understand what you mean. No, I don't. I'm an investigator. I'm also not real. I'm a, I'm energy. I'm not real. That's right. I'm an animal. And I... <laughs> Shit. But I am a different species. I'm not from Earth. This mask is actually fused to my face uh, it can't be taken off so don't try to however he said he will come back when the time is right the time is right as in when everyone's forgotten about the drama perhaps the time is right when your brand starts to work with you again or perhaps when the time is right when everyone has decided you're a good person mini lad well that's gonna happen when you show everyone that you've changed. And also apparently you've been getting therapy, you haven't been playing Minecraft or anything, and I hope that is true this time. Because, you know, last time was... Yeah. But ladies and gentlemen, I do hope that Minilad hasn't just been cowering away from all the hate. Cowering away from all the criticism. I mean, he did also say he was working on himself, but for that reason, I am going to put this matter to bed. And Minilads, I hope you are also putting the matter to bed not putting other humans to bed. But now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for mini lad memes. Mini lad memes? More like mini penis memes. <laughs> Sorry. I... Mm. Oh, well, just fiddle with kids and move on. That's a bad choice of words. <laughs> for sure it was, mini lad. For sure it was a bad choice of words. Also strange because you kind of like predicted your own reality, no? Uh, oh damn, Simpsons, is that you? Corporate needs to find the difference between this picture and this picture. They're the same picture. <laughs> Indeed they are, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, they look the same, they're both fucking pedophiles. Pedophile. Mini lad YouTube is $30, wow! He's a pedophile. I know, so I don't want his figure anymore. <laughs> Just the fucking Thanos snapped his fingers and all the paedophiles disappeared on the earth. Mini lads, when the girl he's texting says she's over 18. <laughs> and I bet that's for real as well. I bet that was the face he makes when he finds out the girl is above the legal age. No, I don't want sexually illegal people. I want children. Yo, that's sick, man. That's real fucked up. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I'm done talking about mini lads, so I'm going to take a dump. But before the video ends... Ladies and gentlemen, subscribe and like, and it's time for a face reveal. The moment you've all been waiting for. You mad, bro? Uh, yeah. I said, tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad, bro? Uh.